Hey, what's up, you guys? Marcos Villegas here. The man right next to me, Sammy Vasquez, fighting on this Fox card that we'll have as the headliner, Danny Garcia, against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Sammy, thank you for uh, speaking to me. You have a, a fighter in Aaron Martinez that has a big win over Devin Alexander. He fought the guy in the main event, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. What are your impressions of him as a fighter and what he brings to the table in a fight against you? Uh, I mean, he, he's somebody that pushes it. You know, he, he's the one that uh, he gives 110 percent every time he fights. You know, uh, he's a tough, he's a tough fighter. Uh, he's relentless. He keeps coming and coming. Um, you know, regardless of, of what his uh, record states, you know, that you know he doesn't have that much power. It's, it's not about that. It's the bunches of punches which, which you know, breaks somebody down. You know, so uh, you know him being Devin Alexander, uh, he, he fed right into, he, he made Devin feed right into his trap. You know, and, and that's what beat him and uh, Robert Guerrero. I mean, that was a that was a close fight. It was a tough fight. You know, and um, I got to give him credit. You know, for what he, you know for what it's due. You know, and so but he's ranked above me, and I think I'm better than both of those fighters, and uh, I have a lot more power than both of those fighters. So I think you know it's going to be a different situation come January 23rd. Your last fight, did you have the beard? I don't remember no, seeing you. No, okay, no, okay. Oh my god, I thought that was new. This is a training beard. This is, you know, Colorado Springs gets a little cold out there. Okay, uh, <laughs> I just did a 14er, 14,000 foot mountain um, a couple weeks ago, and uh, the beard saved me, man, because it was it was cold out there. I had ice on it, and it was hanging there, and <laughs> like yeah, snow. Frostilicus. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty intense. At but. least you can grow a beard, man. I know you're like a Mexican, but like very yeah. Americanized. This is like me, like just shaved, but I can never get to that. You're lucky. I can get the beard. <laughs> But then I, I lose it up here though. I start. I got receding hairline. You know what I mean? So I gotta hide that, you know, and show the beard. Your hat game's strong though. Yeah, hat game's strong. You gotta, you gotta keep it on, on point. You know, Sammy, I first watched you a few fights ago, but I had a chance to watch you live when you had your last fight in California, Pennsylvania. I like you as a fighter, man. You have a very exciting style, and I feel that the better it is that people get to watch it on, on a platform like Fox. You know, I think it's only a matter of time where people are, are really going to start gravitating towards you. Now, on the flip side of that, do you feel that you should have already gotten a, a little bit more attention, seeing that you're a very exciting fighter, or are you happy with the progress you've been making? You know, I'm, I'm not like a, a big attention seeker. You know what I mean? Sure. I think, you know, when, when the time's right and, you know, when it comes, it's going to come. You know, I'm just going to keep doing my job, keep winning fights, keep making it exciting and, and, and entertaining. You know, the, the better my competition is, the better I step up, you know, and the, and the better that I look. You know, so coming this fight, I mean, he's better competition. He's, he's ranked above me right now, which is what I wanted and which I've been, I've been fighting for, and, uh, and I got it, you know. So I got to take advantage of what's given to me, and, and he's, he's given to me, and I got to take advantage of it. Uh, and and do what I need to do to stop him. Here's what's good about your style. And when someone watches you fight, you can box, and when you can be and you want to be, you can be elusive. But you're willing to mix it up too. And a lot of guys now in boxing are very scared of losing that O. You know, and they fight differently, they fight defensively, but you're not all about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I. It all depends on how I feel about my opponent. You know I mean, if I feel that I can go in there and, and I can bang with him a little bit and box, you know, I, I'll do it. I'll mix it up. You know what I mean? Because that's. It's very hard to some, for somebody to get used to somebody that's always mixing it up and, and adapting themselves into the ring. I mean, a lot of fighters are one-dimensional. I mean, it's easy to beat those guys. They got one, that's it, that's all you got. I mean, that's all I got to train for. But for somebody like me who boxes, I'm in and out, I bang, I move, I'm elusive. I got all these different qualities to me in my boxing game that makes me hard to fight as, a, uh, as, an, as an opponent, you know. But... I make mistakes too myself, you know what I mean? I drop my hands a lot, you know, and I, and I do things to make the fight entertaining, you know, which, which... You, you know, do those on, do you do that on purpose? I do, I, I do, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I do it to set up shots, uh -huh. you know what I mean? I, I, I drop my hands because I'm, I'm, I'm baiting, I'm, I'm feigning him to, or wanting him to p throw a certain shot so I can counter that shot because yeah. that's what I'm baiting him to do, you know? So I do it a lot on purpose. Sometimes I get caught, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I don't get, you know, knocked out or dropped or anything like that, but it's like stepping up in, in level of competition, I know I got to start, you know... I being a little little distance to that, you know what I mean, and being a little smarter because, you know, the games, the, you know, those fighters are just as good as me, you know, and if I'm, not, if I'm better, I mean, if I feel that way, but, you know, I, I got to be smart when I, when I start fighting, uh, you know, higher level competition. I got a feeling that the guys that we saw on stage right now in the main event, you might be in a collision course with one of those two. How, how soon do you feel that you get up to a point where you could fight a Danny or a Robert or anybody in that division like a Porter or a Thurman? Uh, I mean, I'd fight Robert right now. 
You know what I mean? Um, you know, Danny Garcia, I mean, I'd fight him right now too, but I know that, you know, you got to fight the right people and you got to get, um, you know, a good recognition in who you fight before you can call somebody like Danny Garcia. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, in that sense, I mean, that would be a great fight. I mean, that'd be the Battle of Pennsylvania. You know what I mean? I'm from Pittsburgh. He's from, he's from Philly. You know, so that would be a great fight. But, um, you know, he, he, he's doing what he needs to do right now, and, and I'm, just, I'm just trying to set my track, you know, and stay on course to, to fighting for a world title, whether it's against him, whether it's against Thurman, Sean Porter, one of them. Uh, you know, eventually uh, I'm going to meet one of them. Let me ask you this. Do you feel that you should be rated higher than what you're rated right now in, in division? Do you feel that, given your skills, your talent, you should be in the top five? Um, given who I fought, so far, no, I would say. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I, I haven't fought a big name yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? To get up there, you have to fight a big name. Mm -hmm. For myself, egotistically, and my skills and how I feel about myself, yes. You know what I mean? But that's, that, it doesn't matter on how I feel. It's all no matter who I fight. You know what I mean? And I, that's why I've been trying to say I want the guys that are in front of me in the top ten so I can get myself up to the top five. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I, I, can't, I can't sit there and call anybody out because I don't got the cred credentials to call somebody out. You know what I mean? In this game, you got to fight names to get names. You know what I mean? And right now, it, it's all about as a, as a money scale in this game. If you don't make as much money as them, they ain't going to fight somebody in a lower totem pole because if you knock them down, then their money drops. You know what I mean? So you got to make roughly about the same amount of money as they make for you to get a fight with them. You know, and that's just that. I mean, that's just the way it goes. And finally, the main event. You got a, a very competitive fight against uh, Guerrero and, and Garcia. How do you see it unfolding? Like I like I told uh, the other guys, you know, it all depends on which Robert Guerrero comes out. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the one that fought Aaron Martinez, um, you know, he was sloppy. You know what I mean? He didn't look like he was in shape. He looked like he just thought he, he took Aaron Martinez soft. You know what I mean? Um, but then there's other fights that, you know, you, you can tell he trained. I mean, he's ripped up, he's, sh he's in shape and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so it all depends on which one comes out. That being said, I'd have to give it to Danny because Danny always comes prepared 110% and he's undefeated for a reason. Sammy, it's great seeing you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Man right here with the beard, but maybe on fight night he, he won't have the beard. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Sammy Vasquez on this undercard fights Aaron Martinez coming up on Fox January 23rd. Garcia versus Guerrero in the main event, of course, Marcos Vegas here in Los Angeles.